Immediately, Naomi transforms into a dolphin. Let me stop calling them dolphins. <laughs> and welcome back to a new video. I remembered my flower this time because we are in The Sims 4 I'm Living today. And in the last episode, Makoa discovered the secret, you guys. He discovered that Ari is a mermaid, which is probably why these guys are having, well, they were having a pretty frank discussion right there. They've swapped chairs for some reason because Makoa told Sage and Sage came home and discovered Ari in the bath looking decidedly fishy. She looked like her cousins, her cousins out there in the water. She looked full mermaid and Sage seems pretty stressed about the whole situation. Now the thing is you guys were like, oh, like I can't imagine Sage being like angry about her or any angry at her or anything like that. But the thing is you would be kind of freaked out if uh, your friend had just become a mermaid. And also Sage is older than Ari. So there's some kind of like a responsibility on Sage to look after Ari while they're out here in the island together. And Sage is, why did you just whip food out of your pockets? You keep full plates of food in that I don't even know okay but also like Sage is gonna be like if something happens to Ari like Macy and Akira oh. are gonna be so mad like she's under her care oh, so while she's under her care she needs oh. to look after her I'm and so her becoming a fish totally. girl is <laughs> definitely Russian. not a good way Rapid of up. being looked after so I think she's kind of worried and kind of upset that. she's just oh, like look buddy. like just talk to me just talk to me Ari what is going on why are you fish girl and what can I do to help reverse what's happened to you so I'm gonna get Ari to apologize for keeping it a secret. Sage is like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it right now because you kept this from me. And also I've heard that you've been hanging around with some, I'm gonna get to share the mermaid discovery by the way. You've been hanging around with like some guy who Okoa told me deliberately destroys fishing boats. He tears up fishing nets. Like he has literally been like destroying the fishing economy here. Single-handedly, he's a troublemaker. Like these are people's jobs and he's just destroying Destroying Sergeant. boats and nets oh, and God. basically just putting them out Rubens. of work. Wow, huh? into Sage's body uh. right there. Ari's like, look, Sage, they've come out here, by the way, for nice views. There were some dolphins there, but they've gone. Also, non-mermaid yeah. folk. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> What just happened? What what just happened there? I have no idea. So Something God, epically so kind of Oh, uh, Princess uh, Lynn, that's a scratch furniture. Okay, that is pretty epic. Um, princess is a wreck. She's like, look, you've got it all wrong. It's not the way it sounds. Like Yuda is not like that. He is not a troublemaker. He's trying to protect this island. Exactly the same way you are doing with your conservation. Like you just don't get it. You just don't get it, mom. But she's not actually her mom. But she's like, you don't understand what you're talking about. So and I'm not gonna have you tell me what to do. You're not my mom. You can't stop me from seeing him and say just just like well, just you wait. If I can sunbathe in the dead of the night, then of course I can stop you. Besides, as soon as you get home from work, you are joining my conservation group. Thank you guys for the idea for that. You're joining my conservation group. We're gonna be protecting this beach the right way. Oh my, look, this is just like, it's too dark to sunbathe, client. It's too dark to sunbathe. No matter where you are, it's too dark. She's like, we're gonna protect this island the right way, which isn't to destroy people's property. And instead, we are gonna be clearing the beach of trash and you're gonna help me. And that is exactly what we're gonna do. So I am gonna set up Sage and um, a new group, which is called the Conservation Group. Conservation Initiative. Initi. Ini. You know what I mean, okay? <laughs> and requirements, there's no requirements, but the activities have to be. I make them actually specific to the island? I really hope so. Conservation! Yes, conservation activities. I think if I do any of the others, they're gonna like, if I put dive in the ocean, they're just gonna go in the ocean, aren't they? So I'm gonna keep it to just conservation and we're gonna meet and do that, okay? All right, you're joining this group whether you want to or not, okay? Makoa would obviously be in it too. Oh my gosh, I removed the melanin skin pack because Summer, uh, because they weren't sunbathing and Summer has suddenly become paler than life. Wow. Oh, <gasps> Yuda has as well. Okay, if they can't get a tan tomorrow, the pack's going back in because I can't deal with that. Rue! Rue was so pasty. No. Oh my gosh, it's too much. And our picture will be... I feel like she'd want to do it as that just to annoy Ari, but we'll do it as this instead. Is this kind of right? Yeah, I feel like that's right. Let's... No, nah, we're doing it as a fish just to annoy just to annoy Ari, sorry. Boom. And we have 24 hours until our bills get shut off. Uh, our power gets shut off because we haven't paid our bills. And our bills are $500, which we also most definitely cannot afford. You need to get a promotion today, Sage, or else we are in big trouble. And 
And you've woken up feeling low on hydration. Super low on hydration. So I think Sage just feels like you can... Look at her feet, by the way, when she does this. How funny is that? I think Sage assumes you can just stop yourself from doing this. That's not how it works. Like, she has to get hydration. But you can also kind of see, like, some merit in what Sage is saying. Because, like, this is major. Like, you can't ever... Unless you want to sit in the bath for half of your life. How would she ever be able to leave this island? She's kind of trapped here. And I actually think Yuna and, and Sage on the same lines here were both warning her of this. Yuna was like, if you choose to be a mermaid, there's oh, massive sacrifices Chris. and you have to know that. Oh, bless her. She's definitely not feeling good on life at the moment. Bless her. Oh, and Sage needs a no. wee. This is another reason why you can't spend half your life in a bath, by the way, because you are taking up the whole of the bathroom. Oh, she's like, get out. I need to wee. Get your little mermaid butt out of here. Yeah, literally, Yuna and Sage kind of thinking along the same lines of, you've not thought this through and you're going to be trapped on this island forever or always have to live by the sea just think about that okay look how low her hydration is again you're gonna have to go for like a morning swim and hope that no one finds you she's just having herself a little morning backflow trying to pretend that she hasn't really annoyed Sage, but you have, okay? Or do they slowly move around when they backflow? Yeah, la la la. It's like moving off screen, but yeah. You are now banned from seeing Yuda. I hope you like that. But obviously she doesn't. <laughs> Although I feel like maybe Sage does feel a little bad because she has made her some breakfast pancakes. So like, I don't feel like she wants to fall out over, over it. She's like just worried about her, which yeah. I think is totally fair. Oh, but she is going to keep doing this nonsense all the time, which is creepy. And okay, I'm going to check to see if she can sunbathe. Like just before I add those skin packs, no, I still can't apply sunburn protection because it says I'm sunburned but she's not sunburned so melanin pack going right back in right now i don't even care we put it back in can't be dealing with pasty summer okay so say heading into work because i need the promotion i need the bonus to be able to power the house but as soon as you ladies get home the conservation club meets we need to add more people to the conservation club potentially maybe ari can be like get oh my gosh yuda i added the pack why do you still look like that oh my gosh and ari is getting more and more angry about everything in fact both of them are just angry and summer is evil looking want to sleep over at my place today uh no because it's conservation this evening and i am actually legit gonna have to revert back to an earlier save because i can't i can't deal with their, their skins looking like this is creeping me out so much <laughs> They're both still so angry with each other and the whole situation. And Summer's face is normal again. Amazing. Don't know what's happened here or here. Was that you, princess? As soon as you get home from school, it is conservation time. I hope you're ready. And I need you to get a promotion at work, Sage, because we, we need that bonus, you know? Ari is back from school first, though. Her fun is super low. And her hydration is super low. Sage isn't here, so she could do a little a little bit of a sun. Oh, you can sunbathe in this pool water. Go do a little sunbathe. Thing is, none of her little mermaid friends are here. Like, what time does Sage get home? You have a few hours. You could always sneak around. <gasps> you only have half an hour. Oh, Back. you can just send him a text maybe instead. Why can't you text in the sea? iPhones be waterproof nowadays, okay? Oh, wow. That put her in a good mood straight away. And oh my gosh, look at this. Sage has been correct on nature historian. You did not make enough money from that to pay the bills maybe when we comb the beach we'll find something but it's happening conservation group starts now one thing ari could do is she knows that mermaid that's like i thought she did she knows a mermaid that's like base game and is like an adult and sensible and nice and could be like a good person to like try and convince sage but either way we definitely need to try and like recruit more people to the um, conservation cause if we want to improve this island and then apparently there's a total hatching event i want to see baby turtles so much so we'll definitely have to keep our eye out to recruit more people. Oh, this person looks conservation-y. Samara, Samara. She definitely wants to join. Let's do a friend. Ooh, we found some black earbuds. Can we sell them? Oh my gosh. Oh, you can't sell the earbuds, can you? Oh, Ari found a pepperoni pizza. But I think maybe this person could join our group. Gonna invite her to the conservation club and then we can keep doing conservation activities together. Ari's finding all sorts of stuff. Oh, a pizza that's spoiled. Oh, that's gross. Are you kidding? I'd love to join Sula Conservation. Nah. Yay! Okay, we've got another person with us. So Ari is feeling pretty tense. She's like, I don't want to be like doing conservation. I want to swim in the ocean. You can't, Ari. Like, my 
Look, Ho is literally here. He's the person that spotted you. Oh my gosh, she's too tense. Like, I feel like Sage is gonna notice if you uh if you're off gallivanting. And also, we're trying to say to Mako, like, oh, I spoke to Ari, like, don't worry, like that's all sorted now. It's not gonna be a problem anymore. And neither is Yuda. Ari's like, well, if I can't go in the ocean, then I'm gonna go in my cave, see if I can uh, maybe find him in here. Oh, <gasps> search for wildlife. Like, oh my gosh, look at this. Her merpals are trying to ha like invite her out, but she can't, which is super annoying. She's just outright ignoring them. <laughs> She's like, no, I hate your method of conservation. It's not drastic enough. I agree with you does. Ooh. She has, found, she has found a koi though. I actually have a conservationist canoe. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Can I like put that in the sea or something? Why do I like move that? I can't move it, but I have a conservationist canoe. That's so freaking cool. The colors clear in these as well. There's just like real good, awesome conservation happening over here. Not so much over here though. I don't know how much island stuff you actually need to do before you advance to another level. I also don't know how many levels like you, ooh. I'll burn show. That looks cool. She's found a great grilled cheese sandwich. Well, wow. oh, playful dolphins. Pause, pause, pause. A moment was quiet between Ari's echo and footsteps. She heard the distinctive sounds of dolphins. Excited to see them in the wild. I mean, you see them all the time, Ari. You actually have a friend, though. One girl sucks in there. Uh, she followed the sounds of the source. A pod of dolphins were playing in a cave pool. Passing around seaweed and breaching water with mar marvelous jumps. It didn't take long for the dolphins to spot Ari and bolt to the exit. Oh, So she's moved on sad that she scared them away. I this shouldn't technically be scared of her so that doesn't make a huge amount of sense to me but whatever these guys are feeling good about their conservation and she's gone back in to just go and explore the cave however she is super bored she's also out of sage's sight maybe we can get a little Ooh, it's a beautiful one <gasps> maybe we can do a little bit of a, a swim around here together together by ourselves not together not with everybody else we don't want them to see us but she's super bored and this makes her happy and plus look how pretty it looks so sage and the conservation initiative uh, are getting pretty like, tired i'm pretty oh, sure oh, she oh, just oh, found oh, some oh. cake and now so she's I'm eating it Things don't seem to be too tense between these two after the whole uh makoa flirting with her thing I thought they would be, but okay. But she has noticed that Ari is nowhere to be seen. Oh, I'm not surprised you're feeling sick now. That was a pretty dumb thing to do. Ari, on the other hand, despite being part of the conservation initiative, the Solani consultation, consultation in what? The Solani consultation initiative is instead sleeping in the beautiful blue algae where she first met Yuna. Probably hoping that, he, wow, interesting boob angle. Probably hoping that he was gonna swim by, but unfortunately, there's no sign of him, guys. She's probably, when she met him told him that she's got to keep them a secret because they can't be seen hanging around together and is that sage swimming over to her oh my gosh please be careful don't let her catch you as a mermaid she won't be impressed yeah the gang have moved over here to document the algae I mean, you're literally just in the next cove, so please be careful Ari in fact it's late it's raining it's thundering I feel like this is a pretty good time to kind of call off the group now. She's probably gonna save Ari as well. And oh my gosh, do your sims ever get this glitch? Look, look, look. Umbrella. Wait, no, it's fine. I don't need it. Umbrella. Wait, no, it's fine. Now I'm going to the waterfall anyway. Umbrella. Like, it's so annoying. And we've lost power at the house as if things couldn't get even more annoying. Uh, yep, she's wanting to open her umbrella in the ocean. I'm a bit rude. You might get struck by lightning while you're in the sea. So probably best if you head your butt home. And Ari immediately stomping off to bed being like, your conservation group is lame. Mine is way cooler. We swim around and we're dolphins. Wait, she's like, mine is way cooler. We swim around. We stop the fishermen. We're so vigilante and like, oh wow, zit on your nose, not fun. So like vigilante and cool and conservation-y and it sucks that you've taken me away from all that. Page blaster though, she is trying to do the right thing going along. I'm hoping we get better weather today. It is winter in Solani. I don't quite know what that means because it's meant to be like a bit of a tropical island, but it's meant to be windy today. Okay, tomorrow's the lottery. My gosh, do we need that? We could donate all the money to the 
Solani Conservation Initiative. And I'm gonna get Sage to work from home today so I can keep doing my conservations. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Ari is literally so tense. Yeah. So yeah. tense. It's like, oh my gosh, so tense that she's literally yeah, eating poison yeah, yeah. right now. But as a teenager, I've been told you're not allowed to go off and meet your friends, especially meet the boy you're interested yeah. in. That's enough to make anyone pretty angry, so I definitely sympathize with her. Princess, however, does not. <laughs> and I keep keeping an eye just in case he walks by, but nothing yet, guys. Nothing yet. And so far, he's sticking to the rule. Despite what everybody thinks about her, he has been good boy, so... I'm just saying. And she's heading off into high school. Sage, what do we got to do today? Spray invasive species and take samples from the ocean. I think we can actually do a lot of that here. Let's take some surveys. Oh, we can't. S yeah, take some samples. Usually you would do this with Makoa, but today she's like, oh, mermaid, mermaid, mermaid. Is this the mermaid we know? Yeah, this is the mermaid that I wanted to join the conservation group. Okay, you should go introduce yourself to her and then Sage can learn that mermaids are good. Thing is, for Sage's job, I have to get her to spray an invasive species. But the thing is, like, the island is so pristine because of the conservation initiative. But there's really, like, nothing to spray. Oh, he's an invasive species. Gonna spray him. The good thing is, though, at least we found loads of new people. I still can't find this invasive species. It's so annoying. But we found some new people and I'm basically asking everybody to join the Solani Conservation Initiative. The more people we get to join, the quicker we can sort this island out. But look, she's actually bumped into Naomi. Who I don't think she knows is a mermaid. I'm gonna invite her, which is gonna be kind of fun, because this if she knew she was a mermaid, would she still want her in the group? It's good though, because then she'll actually start to get to know mermaids and know that they're good people for the most part. There's definitely some evil ones that are like the way we Go. save the planet is to kill all the humans however i don't think that's you know not quite maybe close <laughs> Yes, Naomi has joined as well. Look at this. We have loads of like conservation group members now. I'm so intrigued. If she goes like a little bit deeper, she will be full tail. Like literally full tail. Are you a fish girl? But for now at least her secret is safe. And that mermaid girl is back again. She's such a cool looking sim as well. We've actually maxed out on group members, which is annoying. Otherwise I would definitely ask her to join. We'll get some more club perk points so we can get them. But this is a good person for Sage to know. It's good for her to learn. Oh, Sage just starting to smell. Everybody's noticing. It's good for her to know that, like, mermaids are good. And I feel like this is OG good mermaid. This is trailer mermaid. You know trailer mermaid has to be the best kind. Wow, this girl ripped. This girl is super ripped. Also, look how cool mer girl's walk is. Like, isn't that just such a badass walk? <gasps> Mua Palam is thriving! The island is healthy overall and animals consider it a sanctuary. Sea turtles have been li uh, sighted laying eggs on the beach. Keep a look out for the special baby turtle hatching event. <gasps> There's also been reports of rare albino dolphins in the waters. Mua Palam has been restored to its prime. Celebrate! <gasps> oh my gosh! So we did it! Her literally forming the group is what it was. Her group together has done it. And look, the algae is turning bio bioluminant. I swear not all of it was before. Only like this patch was. But now all the patches are. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, butterflies. There's butterflies everywhere then. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see this place in the daytime. I feel like it's going to be so even prettier than it is now. And I have to see a baby turtle hatching event. Oh. Oh my gosh, that sounds so insanely cool. They're like, yay, let's go for a celebratory swim together. The coral is back. Look at the coral. The coral is amazing. Like, they're like, hooray. And then, of course, immediately Naomi transforms into a dolphin. And Sage is like, well, who in the what now? What is going on? Why do you have a tail? Oh man, it's kind of creepy. Like, everyone's crowding around her, like, Oh my gosh. They just actually physically splashing her. Although it seems kind of good natured. But this is good because sometimes when it's the person in your family trying to explain something to you, it doesn't sink in. But when it's someone like a neutral person or someone amazing like Naomi being like, I helped you bring this island back. I've been doing this ever since I've been on this island. It's not, you didn't just come along and save the island, Sage. Like we've been all doing this together. Now we're just more like unified, which is amazing. 
And mermaids have actually been trying to save this island since way longer than humans tried, okay? Giving Sage quite a lot to think about, I would say. Also, I'm gonna end the club gathering now because it's almost mid -tight. But look, there's even like butterflies in the water. Like, look, how beautiful is that? I can't believe I brought it back so soon. When did the turtles hatch? I must see them. Hopefully as well, this has given Makoa a little bit of, oh, look at her swimming away. Makoa a little bit of a different view on dolphins. Uh, let me stop calling them dolphins. On mermaids as well, because he was a little bit nervous too. The sage has returned home feeling pretty grubby. There's even butterflies around the house, you guys. That's so pretty. But she's like, I need to go and apologize to Ari. I'm going to turn the power back on. Like, I've just been a little bit more narrow minded. I need to do a better job. I haven't even been speaking to Jace as much as I promised I would. And honestly, now that the island is restored, maybe it's time for me to think about going back to Jace a little bit. But first things first, um, I need to get the butterflies out my house. Are these always around her because she saved the island, do you think? Making a difference. Look how beautiful nature is when it prospers. I wonder if she's just always gonna have butterflies, but she's like, look, I need to apologize to Ari. Ari, you in here? I've, I need to talk to you. She's like, Ari, it's me, I'm home. Where are you? Ari, we saved the island with the help of a mermaid. I owe you an apology, but where are you? Seriously? But I think Ari was sick and tired of not being listening to. I'm for also calling her new race, species. Uh, not listening to her about that either. And I don't think she's at home anymore, you guys. Oh, <gasps> bioluminescent here as well. Because Ari was sick and told, I've been told, what she can and can't do and who she can and can't see. So obviously she's taken the first opportunity to sneak off with the Yuda. It might be the same age as her, but... Oh my gosh, that's the evil mermaid again. The evil mermaid is here. Why are you following Ari so much? But yeah, Yuda might be the same age as her, but he does not have the same responsibilities. He doesn't go to school. He just merboys around all day. And I think Ari kind of wishes she had that life a little bit. Oh my gosh, are you an albino dolphin? No, you're just a big old fish. Oh my gosh, look at them. They do like some crazy yeah, fire yeah. dance. But I Tell feel like this mermaid here has always known that like Yuda is potentially uh, somebody that with a bit of persuading could come along to the dark side of and destroy all humans. Uh, but right now he's not quite there. But if he can be manipulated, then maybe Ari can as well. And I do think she's <laughs> definitely trying to tempt them of a oh, life of really? destroying fishing boats uh, isn't enough. Like if you really want to stop humans destroying destroying the island, you have to destroy the humans, okay? That is the only way. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh! That's the first time I've heard a male mermaid sing! I think he's singing something, like he's putting a, a spell on her to make her go away. He's using his siren's lullaby on her. And now she's feeling sleepy and sad and miserable and like she probably isn't gonna hang around. And so the two of them are getting away from the cray <laughs> in their little mermaid form and swimming to, oh, or walking. Swim, swimming or walking, whichever you want to do, Ari. Just ruining my moment here. But to what I think is like one of the furthest islands you can actually get to. Because like there's a load of like little islands here. But I think this is like as deep as it goes before like this is the deep blue sea. Because like it takes a long time time for like people to get this far but when you're a mermaid you can get there really fast and they can get to their all the cool dive spots like super easily. Now Ari's kind of like honestly I thought you would probably agree with her because you seem pretty angry and hateful about humans as well. He's like no no matter how angry and hateful you get you can't just go around killing them. Besides if I'd have done that I never would have met you. Smooth Yuda smooth. And he's like look this is the shell that I actually had in the cave the very first time I met you. I made it into something for you to wear, so let me know what you think. Wow, intense stare, intense stare. <gasps> She's feeling super flirty after that. Can I show you the shell? Can I show you the shell real quick? He's made her her shell necklace to wear when she's in her mermaid form. I guess she can wear it when she's in all of her forms now, but it's pretty beautiful. It's a nice gift. And it's a shell he's been, look how short she is, by the way. This is so cute. It's a shell he's been kind of keeping around um ever since he first saw her and now he has a reason for it so now that the two the two of them are feeling flu for flirty now look at his little blush on his cheeks that is so freaking cute they're feeling a bit cold out here so he's trying to warm her up with his body heat. 
Oh my gosh, have Hans kissed by Yuna. Oh my gosh, I was gonna like make her flirt with him, but they're honestly just doing it all on their own and it's so freaking cute. I wish you could kiss in, in a uh, mermaid. I don't feel like you can though. Just really love to have their like first kiss be as mermaids in the ocean. But unfortunately, I don't think I can. I think, oh my <laughs> He's short, but she's even shorter. I don't think you could have a mermaid kiss. They've had a first kiss together. Should I see if I can make them like mermaid kiss? Oh my gosh, they're getting hyped about something. What? You can't do mermaid kisses. Are you joking me? That's so annoying. What do you think? You, should, you can't do anything as a mermaid. What? Game. You have seriously messed up there. All I can do is confess how much I like him and blow him a kiss. I just want to be doing mermaid kisses. Like, just let me have my mermaid mermaid kiss that's all i ask for oh my gosh is he drowning they can do this cuteness which is nice but how much did you want a mer kiss i wanted a mer kiss so badly i'm wondering if you can do mer woo woos i'm not sure yet but i'm gonna leave these two cute beautiful mermaids do you want to see her necklace in mer form because it looks so amazing oh man look you can only just see it because she goes quite low but yeah i'm gonna leave these two little beautiful mer mer boy from gulfs i don't think they're actually official yet but you get my drift blown more kisses hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of island living we've now saved the island so let me know how we do the total beach event total beach my head says but you know what i mean and i'll see you guys in another video thank you so much for watching Bye.